I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a chart of living things. So I'm going to write living things at the very top and then I'm going to put a question mark because we're going to decide between two things whether or not it's a living thing. Now I take three fingers on the left, put a dot, three fingers on the left, put a dot, three fingers on the left, put a dot. This is to divide up our paper. Starting on the left at the dot, I draw a slightly wavy line over to the edge of my paper. Come down to the next dot. Slightly wavy line over to the edge of my paper. One more. Slightly wavy line over to the edge of my paper. I come back up here to the top and I'm just going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line around, around, keep going, keep going, up, over, connect. Inside I put a dot. Now I'm going to draw a circle. Inside, connect. I come inside that circle and I draw a curved line, connect, come to the center, Straight line, curved line to the left, straight line, curved line to the right. Right above I put dot, dot. On the left hand side I draw a curved line up, down, connect. On the right hand side, curved line up, down, connect. I come back inside and draw a baby curved line on the left, baby curved line on the right. Now I come over to the right hand side and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal line down, straight line over, straight diagonal up, and leave it floating. I come back to the left side and I draw a curved line, curved line, keep going, curved line, connect. Now everybody will have a different amount of curved lines because we all draw differently. Now every point on the inside I'm just going to draw a straight line down, straight line down, straight line down. I come over here to the left again and I draw a big curved line up, over, connect, and inside I put little baby dots. Don't go crazy, just a couple. Alright, come down to the next space. We're going to put a dot right there. We're going to draw a curve line up, down, curve line up, down, leave it floating. Come back over here to the dot that we started with, curve line down, curve line over, connect. Straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line on the inside. Now come over here to the right hand side. Right here, let's put a dot. And we're going to draw a big curve line up. Come back to the dot. Big curve line down, up, connect. Come back to the dot. Little curve line up, in, out, in, connect. Right here let's put a dot and now we're going to draw a wavy 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 line and leave it floating. Now come down here to the next space and put a dot and we're going to draw a big curved line leave it floating. Come back to the dot big curved line up connect. Right here on the end curve line out in connect on top, curve line down, up, connect at the bottom. Come right here on the inside and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. One, two little curve lines. Come up on top, straight line up, 
down, connect, come down below, straight line up, down, up, down, connect. Right about here, let's put a dot, curve line, curve line. Now come over here to the right hand side and we're just going to draw a big curve line, circle, come on the inside, curve line, curve line, curve line, going across and down. And remember, we'll all end up with a different amount because we all draw differently. Now come over here to the bottom, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line up over connect, slightly curved line down on the left, slightly curved line down on the right, slightly curved line connect. Inside, if you have room, a couple of straight lines. Now come over to the right hand side, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, come back to the dot, curve line up, straight line, curve line up, straight line, curve line, connect. Right here, we're just going to put one, two curve lines, baby circle baby circle, little straight line inside, curve line up, straight line connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, some of these you can color any way you want, but I'm going to start off with my black and color this space first black, and you'll do a better job than me. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to color these spaces black because a lot of times I like to color, use my colors as I go through. So I'm going to use black first and color in the spaces that I think should be black. Okay, next I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color this space, this space, and this space brown. Now you have to be careful when you're using a dark color like brown or black not to color so dark you lose your picture. So this is brown and now I come down here and I color this space brown because I want it to be brown also. Now, next color, pink. I'm going to color the inside of this space pink. I'm going to color these little spaces in here pink. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to color the bottom part of this space pink. And I'm going to come all the way down here and I'm going to color this space pink. Skip one. We're doing an ABAB pattern. Skip one and do this pink. Okay. Next, <clears throat> I'm going to take my blue-green, my turquoise blue, and I'm going to color in the B pattern of my AB pattern, turquoise blue. This you could probably color any color you want. Then I'm going to come up and using my regular blue, I'm going to color in this space blue. And again, don't color it so dark that you lose your drawing. Okay? And I just looked and forgot a part of my ABAB. -A -B. I thought, well, that doesn't look right. There it is. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my green. I'm going to color this space green. And I'm going to color this space green. Then I'm going to color in all of these spaces yellow. So this will all be yellow. And again, you can color yours any color you want. These are the ones I chose. I'm going to come down here and color these baby circles yellow right here. And I'm going to come up and color this space yellow up at the top. Okay, next I get out my purple. I'm going to color this space purple. Now I'm learning 
my colors. This is a good way of learning most of the colors. I think I've used them all. This is purple. Then I come in again with my regular blue and I color in this space blue. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do, I think this is it, is I'm going to color in this space orange. And this space orange. Okay. Now, take out your red crayon, if you have one, and let's go through each one. This is a bear, and this is a cupcake. Which one of them is a living thing? I'm going to put a red circle around the bear. This is a mitten, and this is a bird. Which one of these is a living thing? It's the bird, so I'm going to put a circle around it. This is a fish, and this is a ball. Which one is a living thing? Get your red crayon out. It's that fish. This is a tree, and this is a car. Which one is a living thing? The tree. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my chart of living things. If you want, you can use the video part that has the circles or just stop the video at that point so you don't give everybody the answers. Okay, bye-bye.